I mean, just to update the audience, man, I have been in contact with James, his dad. We actually talk often now. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, he kind of downloads everything that's going on on me. It's not necessarily easy on him, guys. Um, but, you know, he's he's doing his best. And right now, Josiah's is good. Emily is good. But um, it's starting to come to a point to where we don't know what's going to happen. And so I'm going to update you guys as I get updates. But that's just for the audience. When you get at that certain age, you you know, get your, your little sex drive going, or you think you're a man, and you don't want to buy it by rules. Okay, okay. And so, so I mean, you know, he also went back with his girlfriend, Emily. <laughs> well, <laughs> Hold on, Emily Maya. So, yeah. wait. So he got a he got a lady friend now because he, he was had, still he been had her but they were like well his nose was something. wide open about some other chick that's her oh lord he went back to her man right. oh no <laughs> hey man what well, wait what was your what was your advice about that I told him like this what's up YouTube go ahead and smash that like button also if you like the video share it helps to spread it in the algorithm now. Back to the content. Back to the content. Back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with the update. Um, so, you know, how you doing today, man? I'm doing fine, <laughs> man. I'm blessed. My guy, man. My guy, man. You definitely one of my guys out here, man. Yeah, you my guy too. Bro. Absolutely, man. And so, you know, you was um actually, you was actually pretty close and pretty cool with Josiah. Right. Um, and he became a really popular interviewee on this channel. Right. Um, did you know that he went back? No. I didn't know. Okay, yeah, yeah. He um so basically through these videos, um his dad, me and his dad got in contact okay. and um you know we, we got him back home, man. Okay, that's good. What do you think about that? I think it's a blessing that he gone back home to his dad. He'll get some help now. What do you think about him just kinda of being a nineteen year old, you know, young minded kid out here, um just kinda of running around? Oh, confused, lonely, don't feel loved. And really don't like authority. Okay. You know, when you get at that certain age, you you know, get your, your little sex drive going, or you think you're a man, and you don't want to buy it by rules. Okay, okay. And so, so I mean, you know, he also went back with his girlfriend, Emily. <laughs> well, <laughs> Hold on, man. Emily Maya. So listen, Come man. On, yeah, man. though. Can I mean, so so listen. I ain't gonna lie to you. So it was a very tense situation, man. We was we was over there by thumbs up, man, for about two hours. Right. Um, off Edgewood, for about two hours, man. Um, trying to convince him to go back home. Him and his dad almost fought, um, a couple of times. Right. So it was very tense. Um, and he was very adamant about not going back. And the only way that we was able to convince him to go back was if Emily went with him. And truth be told, you know, she she's an 18-year-old, young, Caucasian, you know, yeah. white girl out here. Right. She probably didn't need to be out here by herself. Right. You know, I mean, what what are, you, what are your thoughts on that? My thoughts on both of them need to be, you know, somewhere with their parents or someone who can give them a little more spiritual and mentally guidance and, you know, and guide them in the right way. The street's not, not what's happening. Yep. So, I mean, just to update the audience, man, I have been in contact with James, his dad. We actually talk often now. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, he kind of downloads everything that's going on on me. It's not necessarily easy on him, guys. Um, but, you know, he's he's doing his best. And right now, Josiah is good. Emily is good. But um, it's starting to come to a point to where we don't know what's going to happen. And so I'm going to update you guys as I get updates. But that's just for the audience. All right. So... So I, I still want to talk about you though, man. Okay. <laughs> so she got these 17 kids, man. Oh man, listen, I'm blessed. I'm working at the Marriott Hotel now. I got me a place to stay. Things are coming better with me and my children, nieces, everything coming together like I need them to come. Okay, okay. And so what about your son, man? How's he doing? Oh, I know I'm my daddy's son now. So hold on, so hold on. But at so the time, on. I didn't know hold I was on, my so father's Is this your bio dad? Yeah, this is my bio dad. I thought this was just like your street dad. No. Oh, this is one of our past interviewees, man. No, no, yeah, so I hold on, so hold on. And yeah, so you say that you had a baby at 15. Yes. Okay. You have twins. Your twins at 15? How many kids do you have? 17 and all. Okay. You got 
17 kids. Yes. Okay. Hold on, man. Okay. So hold on. So hold on. All right. I got questions now. Dude, now, Dad, now you know you my guy. But you about to get some grilling now. Oh, no, you about to get some No, no, we about to be, well, it's about to be some grilling. We about to be barbecuing up in this thing. So, okay. So, I got questions now, man. So, okay. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm a okay. So, you basically, your your mom gave you up. Yeah, she gave me up. Yeah, yeah. she and told you, everybody I was dead. She, she told, told my everybody. auntie, my daddy. Yeah. She told everybody I was dead. And, and so, you and her had more kids. Right. Well, by the time I found out about him, I was my second in prison and I was out. You see what I'm saying? But, so I mean, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so, hold on. So, you got her. Is she really light skinned or is she white? She's white. white. Okay. Yeah, I'm mixed. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so you white, got White, white, too. Uh, Irish and French. You I'm black. black, most definitely. But, you yeah, know. definitely in this society. You black, man. All right. So, so okay. So, you basically, man. So, you knew she was pregnant, right? Right. Okay, you knew she was pregnant, and what did you think happened to the baby? She told me when I got off the horse for the game. Well, because here's the thing. They keep you in the hospital after you have a kid. What You're in the you hospital for at least a day and a half. You got to look at though. I'm traveling from Alabama today. I got to get back to Alabama. So you're problem. traveling for work. Uh, okay, so this ain't like... You're going to work like 20 minutes up the street and coming right, home every day. Right. Okay, so this is, you're going and you're traveling for work. Right. And well, so I'm you're going for... The way that I met her, I met her on vacation up there. Oh, wow. So okay. So once we linked up, right, you know, blah, blah, blah. So where, where, was, where was you born at? Born here. Yeah. Okay, and so you met her on vacation where? And then you bought her back here? Right. And she was pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. She had the kid, which is you. And then she gave you up at six days old. Six days old. Yeah. And the whole time you were out of town. And out of town. Okay. 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 Oh man, that nut doing all right. He at work now. So, did he? What was his response from the video, from his interview? I don't know. We really hadn't had a chance to talk because we were on two different schedules. So when he coming in the house, I'm leaving out the house, I'm already gone one. So, you know, we probably get a chance to sit down and talk this weekend and watch the game. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't watched it? Y'all ain't seen it since the, since the interview happened? No, because we were two different shifts. <laughs> and then plus, you know, he got them little lady friends, so. Oh, so he do know, got a, so yeah. wait. So he got a, he got a lady friend now? Because he, he, he was had, still. He been had her, but they were like. Well, his nose was something. wide open about some other chick. That's her. Oh Lord, he went back to her, man. Right. Oh no, hey man. What? Wait. What was your What was your advice about that? I told him like this: if you really do love and care for, her, then try to make things work. But you need to come to understanding and on and off, on and off. You back and forth to her house, this house. It's not gonna work like that. Cause what was the deal? I forget what it was. It was something that she had did or something like that. What was it? Uh, she had told him that it was over with and don't call no more, you know, things. I thought it was baby. something else. I thought it was like, um, something that we was like, man, like. Oh, 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 uh, I know what you're talking about. Give me a minute. Um, her friends. She was no friends over him. Was that what it was? Yeah. Okay, hold on real quick, man. I'm gonna pause. All right, man, I had to hit pause real quick, man. <laughs> I had to I had to find out what that was. I had to remember what it was. So, yeah, it was basically that she basically took his money. Right. Um, You know, he had saved up money, um, and she she basically just took it. Right. I ended up falling in love with Shawty. <laughs> we fell in love, and um, she told me, she was like, man, I want to get a place together. Let's, let's get us a place together. So I was working, doing what I was doing. I'm not good with money, so I was giving her my entire check. Every time I get paid, I How give much her my check. Make? Sometimes between six to eight hundred a week. Yeah, because okay. I was I was working making fifteen dollars an hour at the construction site. So okay. I was making only six to eight hundred a week. And so you were sliding the whole check to her. I tell her to give me two hundred back. You know, whether or not it be six hundred or eight hundred, I tell her to give me two hundred back because you know I got smoke weed and stuff like that. Right, so right, right. Need to make sure I could afford it. Right, to have your little daily money and stuff. I so I gave, I was giving her the money. I had like sixteen hundred saved up. That was mine. We probably had like three thousand all together. But sixteen hundred was like mine. And shot it just like she reneged on me. Um. So what was the deal with that? Like, and heard nothing else about it. Hmm. 
Okay, man. I'm out. See, so, you I'm know, when that. he when he talks to me, he all talks to me when things go wrong. Excuse me, when things go wrong between them and their relationship, then he'll talk. But everything going okay, he don't ever say anything too much. Man, you better you better holler at that man before he just you know, waste a bunch of time, man, with this chick, you know? Hey, you gotta learn, I had to learn. Thing about it is, I'm, I was almost sure that there was gonna be a bunch of ladies hitting him up too, man, cause they was all in the comments talking about how, you know, he's cute guy and all this other stuff. Right. Um. So, huh, all right, well, I get it, man. Well, you know, I hadn't talked to him, like I said, but now when I do, I see you down here, let you know what he's saying, fine. So wait, so y'all live together? You wanna call him when he come home? Okay. And he's still working at the Marriott, right? Yeah, both of them. Okay, okay. Different chefs now. Okay, I get it. I get it, man. All right, I'm going to run into him, man. <laughs> I'm going to run into him when I do, man. But All right, man. Well, and so, I mean, so I guess at this point, you got your own spot and everything else. But you were just saying how, you know, the rent be kicking your ass sometimes, right, man. So, can, yeah. is it like an issue with, like, the budgeting? Like, what's what's the deal with that? It's the deal is I do um, housekeeping. And we only get so many rooms, and once when the room's over with, then you go home. So I'm not getting the hours in that I need to get because I just came out for training. So I work from like 9 to 12 or 9 to 2. You know, there's not really no money, so I get my feet all the way in the door like I need to. Okay, so basically just not getting enough hours, not making right. no money. Right. Okay. All right. All right, man. Well, listen, I appreciate it, man, um, taking the time, answering all of our questions. Um, if anybody out there wanted to reach out, help, or donate, do you have a way they could do that, man? Yes, uh, dollar sign, Levon, B-C-O. Spell that for us. Levon, L-A-V-O-N-N-E, -N -N -E, B, and then ball, C, and then cat, O, and then out. Okay, all right, man. Well, listen, we really appreciate you, man. And we definitely wish you nothing but the best out here, oh, all right? Yeah. I got faith and trust in God. That's it, man, that's it. Uh -huh. Have a good one, my boy.